Months of complaints and now finally relief for neighbors. An alleged strip club running out of a townhome is now shut down. Good evening, I'm Ama Dates. And I'm Larry Veal. Thanks for joining us. ABC 7 News I-Team reporter Melanie Woodrow broke this story last week. Yeah, she's here with the latest, Mel. Larry and Ama, it's moving day for this promoter who told me that he was not doing anything illegal. The host, who goes by the name Fresh, had until 7 a.m. today to leave the townhome. Neighbors tell me he spent the night packing up. Some welcome sounds of leaving outside a row of townhomes on Camille Circle in San Jose. By phone, residents tell me they are relieved their neighbor is hopefully taking his parties with him. Once uh, the news got involved and shined a light on the situation, which was so terribly egregious, it stopped. For months, they say they complained to 311, 911, the HOA, and later Code Enforcement and the Department of Alcoholic Beverage Control about what they described as a strip club being run out of a townhome here. The parties were advertised openly on social media, including publicly posted video from inside. Each weekend, residents tell the I-team people would come and go at all hours of the night, with security guards escorting them to the townhome by flashlight. But the party's promoter told me the guests and even entertainers, as he described the dancers were friends and family. I think it's laughable. A person helping the townhome's owner recently filed eviction paperwork, and last Thursday a sheriff's deputy posted an eviction notice on the window, giving whoever was inside until 7 a.m. today to get out. This morning the locks were changed, and deputies posted a no trespassing sign. Residents say it was a quiet weekend. I've gotten multiple good night's sleep, a longer string of good night's sleep than I've had in months and months. The Department of Alcoholic Beverage Control previously told the I-team it could not confirm or deny an investigation, but reiterated that it looks into every complaint received. Also that the sale of alcoholic beverages in California without an appropriate license is a misdemeanor violation of the Business and Professions Code. San Jose's Code Enforcement Deputy Director told the I-team Code Enforcement opened a case to investigate any potential zoning, building, or municipal code violations within its purview. Also that it was coordinating with SJPD on the alleged issues at the townhome. An attorney for the Homeowners Association said again today the HOA has no comment. While the party is over here, residents say they hope it doesn't move into someone else's neighborhood. Just because they move and do their business someplace else doesn't mean that, you know, everything is fine and legal and on the up and up. There was some small property that was left behind. According to the eviction notice, if valued at less than $700, the landlord could either throw it away or keep it. And you talked to the man known as Fresh, who is running this, right? I did again today. We've now spoken twice, and he continues to say that he's not doing anything illegal. He says these are private parties, and they're for friends and family. Hmm. Okay. To be continued. Thank you, Melanie. And to get in touch with the I-Team, you can call this number on your screen or go to abc7news.com slash I-Team.